Hi, this is Avar from Scrappy Mania, and today I want to create a layout using three pictures of my daughter and her friend. And I want to use a lot of the embellishments that I have lying around um, and leftover paper scraps. And I also want to use this Heidi Swap paper, and I'm just going through it trying to pick out which papers I'm going to use for my layout. So I decided to use this pink and yellow polka dot, and I'm going to cut it to size. And then I needed, I wanted a mat, one full mat that's going to contain all of my three pictures. So here I'm just measuring out the size and I'm just going to cut it down and place my pictures onto this paper. I love the papers from this paper pad. I got it at Michael some time ago and it's been sitting around in my craft room for a while. So um, I thought that they went very well with the embellishments that I created with my foil, mink foil machine and my stamps, and also with some other embellishments that I've created. So I'm hand cutting my doily, my foil doily that I created using a stamp. And I, what I did with this is I stamped it on some white cardstock and I took it to my printer, my scanner printer, and I have a laser scanner um, printing machine. Um, and I scanned the, that, that page in and then I ran it through the machine. And I'll put the link on the video where I showed you how you can convert your stamp images into images that you can then later on use some foil on and, um, and give it that nice foil look. So I'm creating little clusters here and there on my pager. Now because the mat that I put my pictures was a little um, to have too much on it. It had a lot of flowers. So that's why I put a, a, that strip that you see there with the stripes on that little area that doesn't uh, of the paper mat. So that way I can um, put embellishments on there and they won't get lost within the busyness of the paper. So it's it serves like a grounding, like that, that strip is going to help ground any embellishment or clusters that I create on that page. So now that I have kind of an idea where I'm going to place everything, I'm going to go ahead and ink the edges. And I'm inking it dark. I'm using a black ink because I really want all the layers to pop because the, later, the layers are kind of muted. And, um, and I wanted to make sure that I give each layer a, a, a distinct outline so that they will look good on the page. One of the things I wanted to do is I wanted to create a little strip with some scallop edge and that I'm going to place it on the left hand side of this page. And the reason why I wanted to put something there because this is like adult to me this page is more feminine looking has a lot of flowers and roses so I wanted to put something that had either like a doily or um, a trim or, or things just to make it a little more dressed up more 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 ladylike to the page so here I'm and I'm if you notice that I'm creating a cluster of three so I'm putting a lot of my embellishment on the left lower hand of the page then my my eyes is going to migrate all the way up to the right top area and that's where I'm going to put my second um, group creating that visual triangle and then I'm going to put another little cluster as you see there on the bottom right of my page and that's going to give it a lot of interest that really going to kind of balance the page out and it's going to make everything um, balanced and, and, and it's not going to um, distract from the pictures. I'm adding a little more to the clusters and then I, I had the stamp that says remember and I, I went ahead and placed that on top of my journaling area. Okay, I'm done with my layout. It's very simple. Very simple layout. Just a couple of pictures, some of the embellishments that I have created over time, and some of my videos. And I think I'm just going to put a little bit of journaling down here, not a lot. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you like this video, and thank you for watching. Bye now.